Hello Pirates, welcome to the third and final installment of how to build wardens for your base guard. This is the mortar version. At the end of this video you can see links for the countermeasure version and the missile version. The warden has excellent uh, attributes for being a mortar defender. It has extra mortar reload of 50%, extra remote range of 140%, Plus, it extends the basic uh, mortar range as well by 21% uh, explosive overall. So it also applies to rockets. With these attributes, uh, plus a buff in projectile speed of 125%, it's easy to see how you can tuck one of these at the back of your base. And with the remote range, keep pounding the enemy with mortar fire, uh, guaranteeing that they'll take minimum pass-through damage over and over and over in case they don't move fast which may lead them to your short-range guard with cannons, chaos, chain guns, rockets and whatnot. So let's first look at the weapon. Give preference, I mean with today's deflections there's absolutely no mortar that will get over deflections these mortars will only do pass-through damage. So what you're looking for are mortars which can deal more than one damage type. And I'll point you the good candidates here, okay? So for instance, you don't want the 2 XQ mortar. That's good for hitting a base, but not for defending. It only deals explosive damage. And even with that over damage of 636, if you find another mortar with two damage types and you can get each damage to over 360 per projectile, it's already more than 636. So ignore this guy. Let's look at the first good candidate here is a coaxial firestorm. This is a funny weapon because once the attacker gets in range, in short range of your warden, they actually fire like rockets. So they have no blind spot, unlike the other mortars. And if the attacker is far away, they will operate as mortars. It's a secondary weapon down in special abilities and it deals both explosive and concussive damage. So if you find a special and you'll get to that to buff concussive damage, you'll be dealing 360 pass-through explosive plus 360 pass-through concussive. So this is a good candidate. In, and the range here is 90. So it's the best range of the dual mortars. The second good option is the pandemonium mortar. This one will deal explosive and radioactive. So two damage types. The downside to the coaxial firestorm is the projectile speed is lower, so it will take longer to hit. It's shorter range. This one has a max range of 86. The the Firestorm has a minimum range of 90. But all in all, both are decent options. The third one that I like is the Chaos Mortar. It's the shortest range of them all, so that is a disadvantage. has the same projectile speed as the Pandemonium. The big downside is each one of those will add 13 minute repair to your Defender. So keep that in mind, if you put 6 over there times 13, it's like an hour and 20. In the guard slot, divide by half, it's still like 40 minutes extra in repairing your ship. But this guy is really cool because it deals explosive damage, ballistic damage, penetrating damage, and those three you can easily get to 360. It also deals a very small amount of radioactive damage, Harder to get to the 360, but even if you don't get there and you get to 50, 40, 30, 20, it's something. So you can get up to like four damage types in here. Okay, just for the sake of trying all the specials, I'm going to pick the Chaos. But you could pick the Coaxial Firestorm for more range and faster projectile. Or you could pick the Pandemonium if you want to focus on radioactive and explosive damage. So with the Chaos... I'm just going to fill it up. You could use a lockdown rocket if this guy will be in channel, if you think the attacker will pass by it eventually. Okay, then use a lockdown. 
But if your ship will be in channel, you may also consider, again, the coaxial firestorm because there's no minimum range. These mortars, they have a, a blind spot, minimum range of 30. So if the attacker walks into that area, you won't be firing at the attacker. They'll just be able to sit there and kill you. So let's suppose at the back of the base and the attacker will not walk right through it. Okay, now armor. You gotta defend against incoming attackers. It already has very good penetrative and explosive deflection. You don't need to worry about that. So let's worry about the other three damage types. And because there is a river conqueror coming up in next bounty, I'm gonna put two of those. And if we look at that now, we we're only missing ballistic deflection. So let's find the MC2, and I know there's soon going to be an MC3, but that 1 million should be enough. There, so now you're kind of protected against all six types. And we're down to specials. Like I said, basics for a defender, I pretty much always put that on my defenders. Agility system 4, now you get have evade, and you have slow resistance and stun resistance and then I add tactical insulator for tactical field resistance and a bit more evade so these two there good now we gotta make sure we get all the damage types over the threshold of 360 so this mortar has a solve of three each uh, sorry and it does 886 so if you divide that by three it's below 360 Okay, so let's find something to buff explosive and the best choice in my opinion is high explosive shell 4 because you also get more projectile speed and more splash combined in a single special. There, that takes care of the explosive damage being over 360 per projectile. For ballistic, there's a brand new special that fits the bill really well. I recommend you use the Canon System 5. This one will get you ballistic damage which we need for the mortar, and splash, which is also good for the mortar. If you don't have it, you're gonna have to settle for something like uh, drum reloaders, it will give you the ballistic damage that you need, but not the extra splash. So now we took care of ballistic and explosive damage. Next up, penetrating. The best option if you're just looking at penetrating damage is carbon fiber casing. Okay, it's also light only 12% extra weapon weight. But if you choose the coaxial firestorm, then the best option is the strike warheads, which in this case will give you both penetrative and corrosive. So if you decide to mix up mortars, which is also a choice, because then you get a bit of that rocket damage in the short range, like this. Now you're buffing both damage types on the coaxial firestorm with this single special, sorry, with this special and the explosive shells, and your buff in penetrative on the chaos mortars. Okay, so the only thing that's left behind now is the radioactive damage. This one, it's very hard to get it over 360 because it's only 310 divided by a solve of three, so it's 103 radioactive damage per projectile. The best I can do is increase that to like 150, 150 something if you want with fission fuel node. There are a few other options. Um, let me find them down here. So we have the atomic targeting that increases by 51. Adds 20% weapon weight while fission fuel node adds 34%. So if you want to have 6% less buff but make it a lot lighter you could go either fission fuel node or atomic focus so this is my mortar setup uh, you if you use alco axle firestorm to have the short range rocket as well uh, ditch fusion fuel node don't use it and use ion thrusters instead to get some splash damage reduction and some extra evade on the other hand if you go all Chaos Mortar, you, instead of using Strike Warhead, could use Carbon Fiber Casing. 
for more penetrative damage and no uh, concussive damage. Okay, so these are the key specials. There are other options, of course. You could use, for instance, if you um, countermeasure loader 4, just to get more reload on your mortars. That's certainly an option. You could use hydrodynamic shells, so your explosive weapons hit underwater, because the way it is, this will do zero damage to submarines. Okay, so maybe a choice you want to go Axel Firestorm, and instead of the fish and fuel node here, you can go hydrodynamic shells, and if you go all coaxial like this, just remember now you're changing four damage types for only two. Then you also don't need the cannon system. You can remove cannon system from here and get something else such as countermeasure loaders for faster reload. It's a different setup. I'm going to revert back to what I had before with Chaos Mortar, four damage types. All right. And no countermeasure loader here. I want Canon System 5. And here's really your choice. If you want to buff that radioactive damage just a little bit, won't make much of a difference. Or if you want to hit underwater submarines once they're detected. Okay, uh, I'll leave it like this. This is the code you see in the video. So I'm going to share this code with you in the video description, okay? All you have to do is select it on YouTube there, mark, select copy, you come here in your shipyard, click share, and here you right click and paste, and you get the code right here, then you click load, and boom, you get this ship. For tactical module, I'm leaving it empty on purpose. If you're going to put it on the channel, use engine disruptor three, if not, you can use microwave dampener to reduce ballistic, concussive, explosive, and penetrative damage. Or if you have the limited fuel, fuel extinguisher, you could also use this one. These are the three I recommend. All right. See you next time, pirates. Have a good time. Oh, you're still there. Okay, so here's another idea. You can get rid of hydrodynamic shells for, like I said, for fission fuel node, or if you want almost double the fire rate, you can use CMXM Reloader. It takes your mortar reload buff from 50% to 95%. How about that? Doesn't do any other good for you, but you're gonna fire a lot more mortars. This mortar has a reload rate of seven seconds. At full rank, it's gonna be down to 1.75 seconds. With the 95% bonus, you're gonna be firing mortars every 0.8 seconds, 0.9 seconds, or something like that. So that is not too shabby. Consider that special and thanks for staying with me and watching this video. See you next time. Now it's for real. Go home.